Hello everyone, it's James at InnoTech Tech Talk and today I'm building a business computer uh, for my stepdad and I'm about to install this 64 gig MSATA super cash uh, card that is, let me see if I can zoom in on it for you. It's my digital SSD is the brand and this was sent to me uh, compliments of mydigitaldiscount.com so thanks again from those folks. Uh, they've been big supporters of mine for these videos that I've been doing. Um, but anyways, I wanted to show you this real quick because I'm going to um, install it on the motherboard. I'm, I'm doing a little mini ITX build and there's an actual uh, MSATA slot on the back of this motherboard. So once I put this in and get the motherboard installed, we won't be able to see it anymore. So I just wanted to give you a look at uh, to show you what it looks like and then later on I'll do another video to show you uh, what kind of performance you can expect to see from this and uh, let me just put this down real quick and uh, kind of lift up the, the motherboard as you can see it's a pretty small motherboard I'm doing just a small little micro build here and you can see right there um, let me see if I can show you, see where my thumb is right there. That's where the MSATA slot is. So it's actually part of the uh, bracket for the cooling system is going to be a little bit in the way. So that's why I'm doing this re uh, review right now, or this part of the re review right now, because I won't be able to do it later. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this for a while, and I'll pick up later on once the computer is put together, and I can do a performance test on it. Thanks a lot. Hello everyone, this is James at Enotech Tech Talk and this is the second part to my review video on the MyDigital SSD 64 gig super cache. Now in the first part of the video I showed you a quick glimpse of the SSD super cache card and it looks like this right here. And I also showed you how I installed it on my motherboard. It's important to note that the motherboard I ordered, I looked for one that had an MSATA port already built into it. Now, you don't have to have this, it's not a necessity, um, but you definitely want to make sure that you either get a motherboard that has it or find an adapter that will go from MSATA to regular SATA. And then it'll work out just fine. Now, you might be asking yourself, why would I want to do a super cache instead of just a full-blown SSD? Now, if you have the money to do a full-blown SSD, I encourage you to do it. It's going to be your fastest option. However, if you need disk space and you still want some of the, beat, the speed benefits from a solid-state drive, uh, uh, Super Cache is a good way to go. Now, to use this, you need to make sure that your motherboard has smart response technology. This is a proprietary caching mechanism introduced in 2011 by Intel for their Z68 chipset. And it allows you to use a solid state drive to function as cache for a hard disk drive. That's it. Really plain and simple. Now, the other thing you need to make sure is that your motherboard has the option for you to put your disk controller or your SATA controller in RAID mode. It can't be AHCI or IDE. It has to be in RAID. With that being said, I'm going to go through on this video and show you how to install the super cache in your software so everything is working well with your system. But before you do that, or before I do that, I'm going to show you some images I took real quick of before results so we, we have something to gauge off of or benchmark off of. So this this is the crystal disk mark for just my normal hard drive without having super cache turned on. So as you can see nothing to write home about I have a read speed of 122.4 and a write of 62.99 in my sequential read write. Jump down here to my 4K and I'm looking at 0.55 and 0.57. So again very slow uh, nothing really impressive there. I also took a snapshot of my Windows Experience Index just to you know give you an idea. I'm at a 5.9 which is pretty standard for a hard disk drive. 
Um, I don't think this is going to change. I have a feeling that this is just going to stay the same, but we, we should see some pretty significant difference in benchmarking after we set up the uh, super cache. So today I'm going to be using uh, Intel's own software to do this, and I can get to it um, using Intel Rapid Storage technology. Okay, so I have this window up, and as you can see here, it's recognized my hard disk, and it's recognized my solid state. What I want to do is click over here on Accelerate, click on the Enable, enable Accelerate option, and it opens up a, a new options window. Now, since I only have one hard disk drive and one cache drive in my system, this is really straightforward and fast. I have uh, for select a solid state drive you want to use to accelerate your storage system I'm just going to use what it's put it on as default because that's all I have and select size allocated for cache memory I'm just going to leave it at full capacity which is 64 gigs and select the disk or volume to accelerate I'm just going to leave it right here on uh, storage controller 0 port 0 because that's my hard disk now for the select the acceleration mode, I'm just going to go over these two options with you. The first one is enhanced mode, um, and that writes the data to the disk instantly for data safety. So everything goes right to your disk right away. And no risk at you know, losing data should something fail in between the time it writes to the cache and the time it goes to the disk. Now there's maximized mode, and I'm just going to click on that so you can see the warning. Maximized mode writes the data to the disk at intervals to increase performance. So it doesn't it doesn't go directly um, to the disk. It's going to go at first to your your cache and then periodically it's going to write it to the disk. So there's a there's a chance that you could lose you know some data should something fail in the in the process. Say you know maybe power goes out maybe one of your hardware components fails, something like that. So since this is for a business customer of mine, I'm going to leave it in enhanced mode uh, because data safety is more important. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And there we have it. It's that simple. Intel Rapid Storage Technology, volume, volume, zero, 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 detected. So it shows here, here's my uh, acceleration view, here's my super cache, and here's my disk being accelerated. Intel Rapid Storage Technology and its mode is enabled. Okay, so that's it. I'm all set. And what I'm going to do is close this down. I'm going to reboot the machine. I'm going to log back in, run my benchmarks real quick, so that way when I start the video back up they're already there and there's no waiting and I can finish up the review. Hello everyone, this is James and I'm back with the benchmark results. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, <coughs> disk benchmark first and uh, we'll start right here with the sequential read and write and as you can see uh, quite a bit of difference, 100 megabytes a little over 100 megabytes per second faster uh, in the in the read speed and about a little over 30 megabytes per second in write speed uh, so that's a pretty significant jump in performance and when we go down here to the 5, 512k um, wow it went from 47 to 184 megabytes per second um, and then from 44 to 53 megabytes per second in the write speed, so not quite as big of a jump in write speed, but still, uh, you know, a significant change. Um, then we look down here at the 4K, and even even better, it went from 0.55 to 26.19, so that's a huge leap in performance. And then on the write speed, it went from 0.5 to 1.14. So, and then uh, last but not least, the 4K uh, queued 32, uh, which is basically uh, 4K file queued 32 times, and it went from 1.058 to 152.8, so that is a huge performance increase. 
um, on the write speed from 1.097 to 1.174, so not much of a difference there, but still the read speeds are, are greatly increased and uh, write speeds are looking pretty good too. And uh, let's go over here to, here's my before um, shot of my Windows Experience Index 5.9 and here we have it after I ran it again it's still 5.9 so as I suspected it doesn't change your Windows Experience Index but it does I mean the proof is in the benchmarks here uh, it's obviously performing a lot better uh, with the uh, tur or Super Cache turned on so um, <clears throat> really I mean when you look at the performance gains you get for the price um, you know, you you typically for a 500 or anywhere from a 480 gig to a 512 gig solid state, you're looking at spending about $400. Now, to get a 500 gig platter drive, uh, you can get one in the neighborhood of 50 to 60 bucks, and then um, you can pick up the Turbo Cash card for 62.99 on MyDigitalDiscount.com. Let me just take you there real quick again. And uh, the way I get to it the easiest is right up in the search box on their site right here. Just type in super cache. And hit enter for a search. And uh, I already know it's on the second page. And there it is. So yeah, $62.99. So you're looking at a little over $100 uh, <clears throat> to get good performance and good storage capacity as opposed to you know, paying upwards of $400 or more to buy just a solid state drive. So there you have it. I am happy to do this video review for you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to um, jot them down on my board.